ladies and gentlemen, get ready for our fight night preview brought to you by DraftKings. And I got three of the best in the business to break it down. Of course, Sean Porter, the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora, and Chris Mannix. It all goes down here in Hollywood or thereabouts as it's Crawford versus Madrimov. Of course, Terrence Bud Crawford, many believe the pound for pound king. What kind of fight will we see at BMO Stadium Saturday night? I think we're going to see a physical fight. I think Crawford moving up in weight is going to have his hands full with one of the best guys at 154. We know Madrimov is a big puncher. We know he has excellent footwork. This is going to be the first time Terrence faces true 154 pound power. Uh, I think at some point during this fight, it's going to devolve into a firefight. It's going to have to devolve into a firefight because uh, Crawford is a physical fighter. We know Madrinov could do both. He's going to have to get physical with the smaller fighter coming up. I think it's going to end in a knockout. I got Terrence Crawford winning this fight. I think he's going to control it. I think even right out of the gate, he's going to want to show that he's the bigger guy. He's the stronger guy. You know, whenever you deny Terrence Crawford, he comes out and shows you exactly what you've denied. So I think he's going to take control early and, and leave it that way. What's the path to victory, though, for Madrimov? You've been in the ring with Terrence Crawford. Where did you find success? You can't. You know what? This is what I would tell uh, Madrimov. Don't back down. Keep going after this guy. Keep going after this guy. Don't back down. If you allow him to see that you're soft, he'll go ahead and rip it up. But if he doesn't see that, then, then you got something to play with. Bank, bank early rounds if you met Dream Off. Early rounds. Crawford is known to, you know, Started a little bit slower trying to trying to figure out his opponent. Get those early runs, but you're going to have to fight him off. There's going to come a point you're going to have to get respect. That's when it's going to get interesting. I got to tell you, Sergio, I don't think they're worried about banking early rounds. I don't, I've talked to members of his team privately throughout the week, and they are not counting on winning a decision. They are coming here to win this fight by knockout. That's why I think the pressure is going to be important. Madrimov is the natural 154 pounder. He has got to show he's the stronger man in the ring on Saturday night. A lot of buzz surrounding our co-main event, Mexico versus Mexico. It's the return of Pitbull Cruz. He has a similar style sort of yours that just go forward, <laughs> don't back down. I know you're excited to have him back. I was kind of like iffy about making this tweet after his last fight. Hey, hire me in to show you how to really apply some pressure. He's somebody that likes to swing the fences with just about everything that he's got. If he touches Ryo, we've seen Ryo get get chinny at, at some points in his in his career. This could be the same thing, the same result if he gets touched by Pitbull. This is the type of fight where I see Valenzuela getting knocked out in a fight that he's winning on points because we know that Pitbull struggles with taller fighters, especially Southpaw tall fighters. We've seen it before. I think we're going to see it again, but I think Pitbull stops him late. Yeah, I think Pitbull should be a big favorite in this fight. I think he's peaking as a fighter right now, coming off that great win over Roly Romero. But I can't count Valenzuela out yet. You see the size between these guys. A lot of length in Valenzuela. If he can use that length, I think he can be effective. And look, he has not faced an opponent like Pitbull, but he's coming off the best win of his career against Chris Colbert. He operates out of that Robert Garcia Boxing Academy where he is fighting some bangers every day in that sparring, including Oscar Duarte. And if you can handle the pressure of Oscar Duarte, you can handle the pressure of most guys. It's going to be a fascinating co-main event Saturday night here in Los Angeles, California. Riyadh season, the first card here in the United States, generally means heavyweights. This card, no different. We've got two bangers of a fight. We'll start with Andy Ruiz facing Jarrell Miller. Miller's had, uh, obviously, a lot of past issues. He says his demons are gone. He's down 30 pounds. Do you think he can upset the apple cart and beat the former world champion? I think a lot of that depends on what Andy Ruiz has left. We have not seen Andy Ruiz in the ring in just about two years. And the last time he was in the ring, he got a win against Luis Ortiz, but he didn't look great in that fight. When Andy Ruiz fought Anthony Joshua back in 2019, that was a motivated Andy Ruiz. That was a hungry Andy Ruiz. Does he have that same fire, that same hunger? If he does, I think he beats Jarrell Miller. If he doesn't, this is the kind of fight Jarrell Miller can win. Inactivity rots skills, and they'll tee two years out of the ring for a heavyweight in Andy Ruiz who relies on speed and power. I think it's going to be it's going to be a good night for Jarrell Miller. He's he's motivated for this fight. He's hungry, coming off a loss. He has the power. There's two big boys where one punch can change everything. Miller's a live dog. I got you. L listen, the good thing about being out of the ring when you're when you've been out of the ring for a long time, you forget that you aren't who you used to be. So I really think Andy Ruiz is going to come in the ring trying to be who he used to be. Gets off to a mm. fast start. He gets ahead of Jarrell Miller, and I don't think Jarrell Miller ever catches up. I think we're both hopeful. Well, everyone's hopeful we'll get the best version of Ruiz and the best Ooh. version of Jarrell Miller. If you do, that could be the fight of the night. But personally, the one I'm most excited about, Bacoli. 
the monster <laughs> taking on Jared Anderson, who's supposed to be the next great American heavyweight. But you talk about rolling the dice on this fight. This could be a disaster for Anderson. You're kind of rolling the dice because Jared, Jared, Jared Anderson hasn't quite grown up yet. He's still got some flaws in his game. He's got, got some really bad habits that he hasn't truly gotten rid of, at, at least in the last couple of times that we've seen him. If he hasn't gotten rid of those uh, those little little wrinkles in his game, oh boy, because he's the, the bottom line. I ain't gonna say too much, but the bottom line is he will put himself in line for everything that Bacoli's got, and it's up to Bacoli to pull the trigger. Simple like as that. that. I like the, the monster, but the monster from the Congo. This is a scary, scary man in Bacoli, but I like Anderson's body shots here. I think if he can get respect out of a big man, a big strong man, and Bacoli and get him down here to the body, which he does excellent. He's one of the few heavyweights that digs down to the body. If he does that early, it's gonna be one of these wars where one punch knockout stops. I favor Anderson. Now, this is the kind of fight that I don't think without Turkey al and the Saudi influence. I don't mm -hmm. think it would have happened. Like, I don't think Jared Anderson would have taken this fight against Martin Bacoli unless there was the reward that's ultimately in it for him. And look, I agree with you guys. We're going to learn a lot about Jared Anderson in this fight. He is the best chance America has to have a heavyweight champion. I don't even know who's second in line uh. for that title. Like, it is a barren landscape when it comes to American heavyweights. Deontay Wilder's on the way out. Jared Anderson, young in his prime. There's a lot of pressure that comes with that. So against Martin Bacoli, a big puncher, an experienced guy, a guy that's riding a long winning streak after that loss to Michael Hunter, we're going to find out if Jared Anderson really is the real deal. All right, quickly, I've been told to get your uh, predictions. If you had $10 of Sergio's money, and we all know he's broke, but if you had the 10 bucks, <laughs> let's start with Bacoli or Anderson. I'm taking Anderson to win by decision. Anderson, knockout. Anderson, knockout. Ruiz versus Big Baby Miller. Ruiz, knockout. Miller decision. I'm taking Miller decision as well. I think he's going to have that motor that we saw early in his career and this, uh, this lighter weight that he's walking around at. All right, co-main event. We're going to be tossing around money all night. <laughs> <laughs> Pitbull Cruz or Valenzuela? I got to I gotta go with Pitbull. I got to go. Yeah, Pitbull decision. Yeah, Pitbull in a fight that he's losing by knockout. No, no, come on. you got to give us one. Pitbull by knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I thought you were going to pick the underdog in this one. Nope. No, you were. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I think Pitbull wins. I think it goes to a decision. Look, you know, Valenzuela was training for somebody else when he got the call for this fight, for a rematch against Edwin De Los Santos. Uh, I, I think Pitbull, I think he's peaking as a fighter right now. I think he wins by decision. And as for the big main event on Saturday, we've got Crawford versus Madrimov. So much on the line for both of these fighters. The legacy of Crawford, of course. Who you got? Crawford decision. Crawford decision. Huh. 11 knockouts in a row. I'm going for number 12, baby. <laughs> Crawford late round stoppage. Well, there you have it. That's our preview brought to you by DraftKings. Please remember to gamble responsibly and enjoy the fights live on DAZN here from L.A. Live on DAZN, August 3rd, Crawford versus Madrimov. How do you know you're the best? Is it the 40-fight undefeated streak, dominating three divisions? Or is it that you're always looking for more? Facing an undefeated champion on the number one boxing platform in the world, Crawford versus Madrimov, August 3rd. Buy now at TAZN.com.